Hi everybody, welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Bob. And I'm Malou. And we're here to show you how to watch TV on your HP TouchSmart PC, that is if you have a TV tuner. Wait, what did you just say? Watch TV on your computer? Exactly. <sighs> this is awesome. All right, now a note to everybody out there, you might not have the TV tuner card, okay? If you don't have it, you cannot uh, install and watch TV on your computer. But if you do have it, we're gonna show you this basic way to set up your cable on your TV. Okay, so there are several ways that you can do this, like if you have a cable box or if you have a satellite box, it's a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you the basic and simple way with cable. The right? cable can be connected to your TV antenna mm -hmm. or through cable that you get from your cable company. Uh, there's a bit more information on set-top box and stuff like that in your guide that comes from the box. If you wanna check this out, it looks like that. Okay, ready to watch some TV here? All right. Okay, so first make sure that the computer is turned off. Always a good thing. All right. And now I'm going to turn the computer around. All right, I'm going to grab the cable. All cable right. not included, so just uh, want to remind you that if you That's need right. a cable to actually make this work. The physical cable is not included, and the cable that runs through it is not included. All right. I'm going to remove the cover here. All right, connector cover removed. Thank you. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit so you can get access to it. All right, there you will see the ports right there, and there's a port here that says TV in. That's where the cable's going to go. All right. Okay. Now, before you do that, let's do the Wrangler. Thank you. You're welcome. This is when we start getting more cables going into our computer. It's always nice to have this Wrangler here. So they don't get all tangled up. That's right. Stay nice and organized. Sometimes your cable can be a little uh, stiff or whatnot, especially if you just buy a fresh one. So make sure you have enough room in the back to get Give it there some in exercise. There. I give it some exercise, warm it up. Put it around there a little bit. Once that happens, we can put it in the clip manager. Make sure you get it on there tight because you know that could affect the signal maybe if your picture's not very clear. That's right. Check you know, that. Check also call cable. your cable company or your satellite company or anything like that because a lot of times stuff like that can happen. You don't want your cable to be unclear so you're not watching good TV. Right. Okay. Ready to go? I'm ready. I'm gonna turn the TV back around. I'm calling it a TV. Okay. It's a computer but it's TV. <laughs> what am I gonna call it? It's all in one. Ready? All right. Yep. Okay, so then we're gonna turn the power on right here in the upper right hand corner. You Excellent. ready to go? I'm ready to go. Now, when you bought the with the computer with the TV tuner card, you might you're gonna get this uh, little remote control here. I already put the batteries that were included into it. All right, and I'm gonna go leave you, Malou. You're gonna use that? I'm leaving you for you're a chair. Drive solo? I'm dri well, you're gonna help me out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna Make this bad boy work through the remote control. Oh yeah, make Ugh. yourself comfortable. All right, so this will take a couple of minutes to sort of you know boot up here. So just be patient or That's relax. Right. Pull up a chair. Wait right. a while. Maybe I'll get a drink. You know. Oh, maybe I'll have a drink. Thank you, kind sir. Is that Sean. your guava juice, your cranberry juice? This is. It's. Don't worry about what it is. It's just delicious. <laughs> it's delicious and it's got garnishy. Mmm. You're in heaven right now. You're darn right. on how to watch TV. So just to show you guys on the remote, uh, there is this button right here, which is the Windows Media Center button, and that'll launch the Windows Media Center, which is where we watch live TV or recorded TV. And okay. I'm going to point at the sensor. If you want to point at the sensor while I'm, see oh, that little absolutely. blue light? Anything I can do for you there, Bob. And I just pressed it for like a second or two, and then it's going to take a second to load up. So don't so get impatient. Why is it starting? Keep pushing. Just let it happen. All right. Welcome. Ooh. So that's what pops up as soon as you turn it on and... Touch the little Windows Media Center button, right? That's right. I'm going to be using on the remote the arrows here and the OK button to kind of guide around the menu there. And okay. so this will be the first time we're setting this up, and this will be what happens for you guys at home. So I'm going to press Express Setup, OK. Now to set up the TV signal and all that stuff so it'll start working through your PC, we're going to go down to TV and Movies, and I'm going to scroll to the right and go to Set Up TV. So I'm going to set up my TV signal, pushing Next. Select Next. Okay. Confirm your region. Uh, yes, we're in the United States. Next. All right, automatic TV signal setup. How would you like to proceed? I would like to manually configure my TV signal and okay. press next. All right, we are using a cable. Next. Do you have a set-top box? No. Next. You are done. I'm done! So now you can set up guide listings. All right, so let's go to set up guide listings. Next. Yes, set up the next, okay. Do you want to use the guide? Yes, please, and next. Uh, now we have to agree to this ter guide terms. And I ready, 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 ready. Agree? I agree. <laughs> next. All right. I'm going to help you out here. Thank you. Enter the zip code. We're in San Francisco, so that is 94111. Beautiful San Fran cheesy. Next. All right, select your TV signal provider from the list. All right, San Francisco Comcast, next. Connecting to the internet right now. 
program guide is downloading. And that's important to know because obviously each cable company, their channels are different. So channel two for one company is different. You know, like it might right. be NBC and then ABC or something like that. It says here that it may take a few minutes, so be very patient. Relax, yeah. put your right. feet up. Have, have a have drink. Have a little cranberry juice. Mmm. It's so delicious. Depending on how extensive your guide is, your TV guide, right. that determines on how long it'll probably take to download all the information. All, all right. right, so there you go. Download complete to continue. Select next, please. Next. So how do you start watching TV? I'm going to go to TV and movies. There's a tab that says live TV. OK. Playing, mm. playing, playing. Blue circle. Blue circle. It's thinking. It's the first time we've ever played live TV. Give it to me. There it is. Look at that. TV. People that we're watching people now. Now you can also record, right? You can also record. It's like a DVR as well. That's right. So I'm going to back up. And if you see recorded TV right there, I'm going to press OK. And see how that little TV is in the bottom corner? Isn't that corner? nice little box right there in the lower left corner? Pretty awesome. And now it shows some stuff that we've recorded before. That actually just comes with the computer because we this is the first time we set it up. You can view schedules. You can sort by date, time. I'm pressing back again. And also you can add recordings. And now how you add recordings, one way you can do that is by going to the guide. So I backed out, went to the TV and movies, and now I'm going over to guide. What do we got there, Malou? You have all kinds of programming there. That's right. What do you want to watch right now? I mean, you have several channels. You can fast forward through time by pressing the right button and seeing all the different shows in the future. You can press OK, set up recordings. You can set up for you know just one show or multiple shows and whatnot. So it's great. So it's it, a computer, a TV, and a DVR all in one. And it goes right onto your computer. Now, a note for people out there, if you are going to be recording live TV, make sure, or even watching TV, make sure you close down other programs that might be running, Touch right. Smart, right. Uh, if you're running like Photoshop, or even if you have other people logged into the computer and they've got stuff running in the background, you might lose some frames. Particularly when you're recording the live TV, it might mess up. Anything graphics intensive. You can do word processing, emailing, stuff like that. But when you're watching TV, it's just a good note to close down all those other things. Why don't you show them the manual, just in case? I will do that. That's a great idea. Okay, cool. okay so when you're done watching TV on the HP TouchSmart PC, there's a little X in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to touch that. That'll bring us back to the desktop. So now you know how to watch and record TV you know, on the HP TouchSmart PC. But if you have any other questions, there's a user's guide. And uh, you can check that out by touching the Help and Support button there on your desktop. From there, you'll go to User Guides. And then there you will see Watching and Recording TV. And I'm going to double click that. And in there, you can see there is a guide for watching and recording TV if you have a few more questions. And that's it. Are we all done? We're all done. Nice and relaxed there. So now we just have shown you, or at least Bob has right here on his nice little recliner, showing you how to uh, watch live TV, record TV on your HP TouchSmart PC. As always, if you have any questions, you can log on to our website at hp.com slash touchsmart for more information there. But if you want to send Bob an email, you can always email us at knowyourpc at hp.com. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll guys. see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheers.